Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Rebecca. Welcome to my channel. I mostly do health and fitness related videos. This video is going to be a Q&A slash a story time about our trip that we went on. We went for two months on a trip with our van through Europe. I'm gonna answer some questions that you had about this trip, about van life and also tell you some stories that was interesting. I have a playlist of this Europe trip, so if you want to go and check it out to see what I'm talking about, or just watch us travel through Europe with a van, I have the playlist and I can put it up here, so you can... No, up here! So you can go and check it out if you want. First question I got was, what place did you like the most? And we both liked Portugal a lot. It was such a beautiful place with a beautiful view and it was a calm place where you could go out and walk. You could do a lot of stuff there. I think it's so beautiful. There, there is high waves because I've never seen that before. So it was something new. I would say we liked every place in different ways. With every country there were something new. Every country maybe had their own thing, but I loved the high waves and the pretty view that we had there. A place I loved also was France. I loved both Nice and Paris. I loved Paris because I loved the city life some kind of way. I did not think I was going to enjoy the city life as much as I did, but I don't know. The Eiffel Tower was pretty and I loved all the restaurants and I loved walking around, seeing old buildings. I also loved Nice a lot because it was just so pretty. And I loved France so much because when we drove there, we drove through mountains and I loved that so much. I also loved Lake Garda a lot, I also loved that place, but France maybe was higher on my <laughs> ranking list. A funny thing with that is that we did not know until like we slept there for three nights I think, and at least the first night or maybe two nights we didn't know that we were at Lake Garda. We knew that we were in Italy and at a beautiful place, but we did not know exactly where. So when we talked to my mom, she told me we were at Lake Garda and they had been there before, so <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was such a beautiful place. I loved the water with the mountains behind. That was pretty. The next question is, do you think you're going on similar trips in the future? And I had two people who asked me that. I understand why people ask that. We are not going on any more van life trips, I think. That was once in a lifetime experience and I loved it when we went, but I don't think we want to do it again. At least not for a couple of years. We loved it, but I'm gonna explain later on why we are not going to do it again. We are definitely going on other trips and we have already one in mind. We are going to go and travel this year, so just stay tuned for that. Subscribe to me if you want to see more travel vlogs that is coming up but I'm not gonna mention where and how long or anything because we're not sure of anything yet we have just talked a little bit about it but we definitely want to go and travel more because we both love traveling so much and similar as in going with a car or a van or who's middle what that is I don't think we are going with that anymore like with a car traveling, we want to go with an airplane next time and <laughs> be more comfortable because there was a lot of new experience with a van. Some people love it and some people are better at it. But for now, I don't think we are going to go on a similar trip, but we are definitely going on other trips in the future and hopefully this year. And similar as in a longer time, I think so. Because Yuzo has traveled so much in his life that he has realized that it's not worth it to go just for one week. We want to go for at least two weeks. We're definitely going on longer trips when we are going. The third question is, was van life like you expected? 
And to be honest, we talked to each other before the trip about not having any expectations. The only expectation we had was, or I would say more, the only plan we had was to work, like vlog and make videos. And it was always going to work some. And also kind of which country we were going to go to. But we did not have a lot of expectations. The only thing I noticed when we went on the trip was that I maybe had some unaware expectations because of how I felt when we were traveling. There were a lot of things that in my head didn't feel the greatest. So maybe it was unexpected expectations that I had because I think everybody has some kind of idea of how the trip is going to go before you go, but you don't know exactly. The last question we got or I got was the best and the worst thing about this trip, about van life. And I think I'm gonna go into the best part first. So we're gonna stay positive first and then go to the worst part, to the negative. So first positive. There was a lot of things that I would say was the best part. I can't mention just one because I can say only one thing was the best because of how much we experienced and because how long this trip was I can't just mention one thing but one of the best things was definitely seeing the beautiful views and the nature in different countries and also the different cultures different people and just the whole experience itself was so good the nature in Portugal was so pretty I just love seeing all the different natures because it's something completely different to here in Finland. I think Finland has such a boring nature when you have been visiting the south of Europe. You realize how boring in some kind of way Finland is, but people who don't live here might think Finland is pretty, or I think people think Finland is pretty. I think Finland is pretty when it's a lot of snow and in the middle of summer it's kind of pretty here when it's so green. Finland is pretty in its own kind of way, but after seeing all the mountains, I love mountains so much, the view, because I am not used to that. And when I have been traveling before, it hasn't been this much mountains in the places I have been. So that is one of my favorite things. But also a thing that I really loved was the freedom when we traveled with a van. We could go almost anywhere and everywhere and we could have our own routines. We could do whatever we wanted for two months. We could choose when we moved on, what we did. And because we both were pretty simple and often we were on the same page with when to move on and where to go, what to do, not what to do maybe but I'm gonna go into that really soon. <laughs> we were on the same page when to move on and where to go and we were pretty simple, both of us. So it was kind of fun to just experience something like that with a person I love, to just create our own routine. I love freedom and I really got to experience that throughout this trip. And the heat was definitely one of my favorite things too. I don't like the cold, and miss the heat right now when it's winter here. Yeah, the heat was definitely one of my favorite things. You could just go out on walks whenever you wanted, get the tan and the sun was so nice. I love summer so much and we got summer almost throughout the whole trip. In the beginning it was pretty cold and at the end, in the middle, we had almost all the time good weather. Sometimes rainy, but at least a warm weather and I miss that a lot. And you could also go and do a lot of stuff because of the weather. The worst part was, um, how should I say this? It was maybe our differences. We had kind of different approaches to stuff, which we learned throughout this trip. As I mentioned, you also worked during this trip and we have mentioned that a lot in our vlogs that you also had to work and stuff like that. This is something that we have discussed when coming home that he has realized that he maybe worked a little bit too much 
and because he worked a lot I only made videos and that took faster than him because he first made videos and then worked he did both but then he stopped making videos and just worked but he worked a lot and when i edit videos it takes pretty fast or like comparison to him working a lot of times i didn't have anything to do and it got pretty boring a lot of times because i didn't know really what I was going to do when he worked and I also wanted to do a lot of stuff because I knew that this was going to be once in a lifetime. Differences definitely was one of the worst things going into this trip but we have learned so much from it and we have grown so much since coming home and I don't regret going through all of this stuff. It was the worst thing during this trip that I often wanted to go and do stuff, he wanted to work and we did not argue a lot but we just had our differences. We have learned so much from it and we have grown so much from that and we have discussed it a lot since coming home so there's no tension between us or anything, we don't argue anymore about it, we just learned a lot about each other. The outcome of it was worth it. So. Also one of the things that I would say was one of the worst part was me having such a small bladder. I knew before we went on this trip that I was going to struggle with this because people who know me knows. I have such a small bladder. When going on a trip like this, it's like a really big struggle. Most of the times when we stopped, when we were driving, it was because of me. And when we looked for places to sleep, we had to have a toilet close. So I needed to have a toilet at the place we that we slept on. And that was maybe also a struggle that I need to mention. Looking for places to sleep was so hard sometimes. If we used an app called I don't remember what the app was called maybe like stay for night or something but we used that one a lot to find places to sleep uh, one of my requests was always to have a toilet close by because sometimes we didn't have that and it was a big struggle one time we slept in the middle of I don't remember what city it was but it was on a parking and they didn't have any toilets there and I needed to go to the toilet both at the night and in the morning we had to like go through really creepy places to find a toilet and yeah it just it was a big struggle <laughs> and a lot of times toilets were really gross that was also one thing I didn't like but you just got used to it after a while and didn't care because when you really need to go you really need to go and then you don't really care about the toilet how it looks how it smells and everything let me just tell you I experienced a lot of new things during this trip and I have grown so much in myself I've done so much stuff that I never thought I would do now I'm gonna go into some fun and weird stories that we went through throughout this trip. We experienced a lot. I'm not gonna mention all of the things we experienced, but I'm gonna mention some funny stories or weird stuff that, that happened to us. First thing is when we ran out of gas, we were driving from Nice to Barcelona and I did not film a lot during this period because I was so in a moment but mostly when we are driving we in the beginning we talked a lot with each other but after a while you wanted to be in your own space in your own mind in your doing your own thing because we were driving for such a long time for so many hours we were both in our own head or on our own phone, Yusa was driving and he listened to some podcasts. I was watching some YouTube videos, so we just did our own thing and after a while when driving we noticed that the car had no gas left and it was on zero, which is so dangerous, I think. At least Yusa said so, <laughs> that is pretty dangerous depending on how long you drive with zero. We could totally have wrecked the car. Luckily we did not do that. I think it hadn't been on zero for a long time because it didn't happen anything to the car. But when we noticed it, we looked up the first parking <laughs> that we could find or first gas station, but it was too far away, any gas station. So that was great, we were panicking. But then we decided to look up a parking and we found one pretty close to us so we drove there and just 
just stop the car. We decided to wait and see if anybody else because on a lot of parking places there was a lot of other people that came and they had a toilet there also and because it was like in the middle of the road there came a lot of cars and people want to stop and go to the toilet so we just waited for some people to turn up and we asked for help or mostly Yusa <laughs> Yusa was going around to many different cars try to get some help but first of all in France they are super bad at English that's something new that I learned they are not good at English in France and we were in France then as I told you almost all, every car that came there couldn't speak English so it was hard to communicate with anyone some people spoke English but they couldn't help us so we were stuck there and we did not know what to do we decided to sleep there because we had free camp before and we thought well we'll just free camp one night and solve it tomorrow see if, if any more cars arrived then we felt like it was kind of creepy because it was late at night yeah I didn't tell you that I'm all over the place when I'm telling stories sorry for that and I'm also talking a lot with my hands but yeah it was late at night and it felt like we were creepy when he went up to people all the time and asked for help but yeah so we decided to do it in the morning instead we started the morning with asking for help nobody could help us then we decided to get an uber and go to a, the nearest gas station and go and get gas and go back with the uber and so we went on the uber app and ordered or whatever you say <laughs> an uber and he came there he did not speak any english so that was great but we got him to understand what we needed and he helped us he was super nice we went to a gas station and he helped us there too and then we went back filled up our car with the gas that we could get we had like water bottles that we filled up with gas and then we drove to the nearest gas station where we can fill the tank that was an experience. The next story was in Milano, which was in Italy when it was fashion week. I think it was my birthday that day and I really wanted a acai bowl because I had seen a lot on Instagram I think about acai bowls and I also have made a lot of acai bowls maybe more like smoothie bowls because acai is a berry that I don't even know if we have it in Finland. I really wanted an acai bowl because we were in a city and I knew there were going to be smoothie or acai bowls there so I looked up a place where they had and I really wanted one with peanut butter I have been obsessed with peanut butter earlier I don't eat peanut butter anymore but that time I did so I looked up a place where they had acai bowls with peanut butter and there was a place called Oakberry and you saw was like can't we go to another place? We saw a lot of places where they had kind of acai bowls or like more smoothie bowls but they did not have peanut butter on them so I was like no we are going over there even though it was like two kilometers to that place and we could have gone to one that was 500 meters and had smoothie bowls but I wanted peanut butter on mine. I was stubborn and he agreed and we went to that place and when we came there it was a really cute place it was three people there i think that worked we ordered a acai bowl and then sat down and then the owner of franchisee of oakberry came and talked to us and he got you how to put peanut butter on his acai bowl and then they talked for about a half an hour to one hour about business and other stuff talked about the strip and everything he was a super nice guy and they, then by the end he gave Yusa a sweater I just thought I would mention that because Yusa really loved that talk I would have him to tell the story if he was here but I didn't get him on this video and that's a big memory that we have from this trip the next thing is not a story but about how much you can drive wrong this is like a tip if you ever go on a trip with a van or a car especially in southern europe where there is mountains we drove wrong so many times and when you're in the mountains there's not a lot of exits so when the exit came where we had to drive off we often missed it and google maps did not cooperate with us all the time 
so we didn't know exactly where to drive off a lot of times we just drove so wrong and when you drove past the place you were supposed to drive off to it was so hard to find a way back and when we were going to Nice we drove wrong so many times and <laughs> we were so tired by the end of that day so that's a tip be careful when you drive if you or closing up to the place where you're gonna drive off drive slowly and yeah i don't know i don't know even how to solve this issue you just have to stay calm <laughs> and also a lot of times when you especially when you drove through the mountains the internet did not work that great but since i was talking a little bit about nice now i can move on to that story when we drove to nice we got scammed we only got scammed one time. You could not really camp in Nice, so we had to look for a hotel or Airbnb to live in because our friends were coming to Nice. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. We had to book a hotel or Airbnb and we looked for a while and I found an Airbnb while we were driving that we were going to go to and I paid for it. It looked really good. It was pretty cheap, or like cheap as in comparison to other places. So I was like, this is great. We are going to get a great place for not that much money, but people don't trust that. <laughs> and Yusa was a little bit in unsure, but he agreed to it. When we arrived to the place, there was a lot of struggles. We saw after we had book it, booked it and arrived to the place, we didn't know where to enter and there was no like there were no specific information that usually comes with when you book a place that was our first warning sign then we decided to contact booking but they did not contact us back i think so yeah we did not really get that sold it just left on that because we did not get any more information we didn't even know in which apartment we should live <laughs> so we realized after a while no we definitely got scammed now we decided to book another apartment or a hotel and wait for booking to help us but they did not help us so we got a little bit annoyed at that but instead we looked for a place to sleep for one week and <laughs> we were super tired after that day because we drove wrong so many times we got scammed it was a rough day and we were hungry we hadn't eaten on the holiday i think there was a lot of struggles that we went through we made a really bad choice and we booked a hotel that cost a lot of money more than it should we should have person for one week so we let our emotions control how we booked and the hotel was really expensive a lot of money went on that hotel on one week and um, not a great decision but it's something we learned from this trip okay maybe i just mentioned the last thing really quickly because i have told so many long stories now but <laughs> the last thing is pretty funny at lake garda it was weird toilets they have like showers in toilets or like shower to shower down here the shower were close to the toilets but it was in a, another room and you saw them showering and he thought the water was cold then i went showering and i thought it was warm so after a while he realized he showered in the toilets i don't know how he couldn't realize that before he had been to the bathroom there before he showered there but he didn't realize that he showered in the toilet so that was pretty funny but i'm gonna wrap this video up now i really hope you enjoyed these stories and hearing why we are not thinking of van life anymore thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you got some tips and some ideas and don't let this stop you from trying it if you want to this is just our experience and we could do it in a totally different way if we wanted to so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye